Hi guys, I'm Tetonius, and this is Call of Cthulhu. Welcome back. Uh, now, I found what I needed to do. I just needed to pick up this crystal, um, which apparently I didn't do. I guess the center of the screen wasn't on the crystal or something like that. Anyway, let's take this crystal and bring it down here and put it in that power source we found. Here we go. Here we go. Ugh. This doesn't look good. What? What? Well, um... <laughs> well, that wasn't good. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. Okay, so but to me, now. it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum, where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told no one else. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Uh, did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small
small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... Ugh, what the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Okay, so I have a new client, Mr. Arthur Anderson, the regional manager of the First National Grocery Store chain. It appears that the First National Grocery in Innsmouth was recently burglarized. Interesting word. And its manager, one Brian Burnham, is missing. From what I've been able to gather, Burnham is something of a young rogue, a friend of a family. Mr. Anderson gave him the jobs a favor. Burnham is looking like the prime suspect for the robbery, blah, 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 blah. Why would Burnham force an entry into the store when you have the full set of keys? Or was his plan to disappear? Following conversation, blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is long. After making a brief visit to Innsmouth, my client came and waited distrustful of the local authorities. Okay, so. I guess my client isn't happy with Innsmouth, and I can't. There we go. So it's six years later, and I've got a new job. Hooray! I guess I went crazy for a while. Jack Walters, lunatic detective. A visit to the old town. Okay, so I guess I'm going to Innsmouth to investigate this missing person. Brian Burnham. Driver, how far did the stop? Almost there. I'll drop you at the town square of Innsmouth. Why well, lock the gates? <laughs> Keeps out wanderers looking for work. Keeps out wanderers like looking for work. Interfering with our affairs. Oh, oh that's amazing. Mark, I'm always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after a own. <laughs> oh, this guy's good. So, Innsmouth. Hello there, Innsmouth. And there's a guy with no head. <laughs> this is it, stranger. End of the line. What did that say? This said hotel. That's all I saw. I guess I'm going to go out of the bus in a second. Called it a bus. Oh, I guess it's 1922. Hmm. Here we go. Oh my god. God, you got out of the bus quick. Uh, interesting looking fellow. Anyway, so this is the Gilman Hotel. Hello there. You don't look so weird. But you are weeping. Yeah. Okay, anyway, let's go in the hotel. Uh, this way? Yeah, here we go. Hello there, Gilman. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. Yeah, like the sign. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. They was from out of town. Can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> well, that's not creepy at all. Talking to this fellow's getting me nowhere, and he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room and I'm desperate, then I'll come back. Okay, Jack. <laughs> Tend to agree with you. Um, I guess I'll talk to my bus driver. Could you direct me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> oh, well, <sighs> see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, fella. 
<sighs> is that guy's eye just? Is it his eyes? Is gonna get me no place. Moving fast. independently. <laughs> oh, that guy was weird. Can you direct me to the grocery store that's just there? I don't know nothing about that. Wow. Um, police line, do not cross. Ooh. Sneaking past enemies? What, they're enemies? Oh my god! Stop! You can't come down here! Jeez. I guess there are enemies. The police clearly don't want me snooping around. I need to be more careful. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, this town. Um, I guess, can I go down here? It won't open. No. I guess I just have to be more careful. And sneak. Yeah. Till he goes past. Whew. Well. All right. It's unlocked. Awesome. What am I looking at? What you looking at, Jack? Oh yeah, yeah. Pushing objects. Ugh. Gotta push it. Can't let that policeman in. Alright, awesome. And, uh, I think we'll leave it there. I've been Titanius, guys. Goodbye.